Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Space Update. Coming up on today's show, limited launch window for SpaceX and Axiom Space, Cafe leaders join SpaceX, we take a look at Israel's Methalox engine, plus this week's launch updates. Let's get started. So first up, the Exim 2 mission, a limited launch window for private astronaut mission to the International Space Station for SpaceX and Exim Space. They have just two chances this month to launch their private astronaut mission to the International Space Station. If they miss these opportunities, they may have to wait several months. The first launch is scheduled for May 21st, with a backup date of May 22nd. If they don't make it, they'll focus on the next available launch opportunity, which could be months away due to the other missions scheduled at the International Space Station. Stay tuned for updates on the exciting mission, plus we'll be bringing you live launch coverage right here on Total Space at the weekend. Now, ISRO, the Indian Space Agency, is currently working on the development of rocket engines that are powered by methane, known as the fuel of the future in space. The agency is focused on creating two types of engines, LOX methane engines, which combine liquid oxygen as an oxidizer and methane as the fuel. The first project involves modifying the existing cryogenic engine, which currently uses liquid hydrogen as fuel, into a LOX methane engine. The second project aims to develop a smaller engine with a thrust of three tonnes, featuring electric motor, similar to that of Rocket Lab and their Rutherford engine. These engine developments are currently taking place at Israel's Liquid Propulsion Systems Centre. While further details are not available, Israel officials have stated that these projects are still in the research and development phase and some time away from being made flight ready. Your feedback matters. It helps us improve our contents and create videos that you will love. By liking and subscribing to Total Space, you'll be helping us bring us the latest and greatest news in space exploration. So make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to Total Space. Former NASA official joins SpaceX to pioneer Starship's multi-planetary journey. In an exciting development, SpaceX has enlisted expertise of Kathy Leaders, a prominent figure in NASA's human spaceflight domain. After her recent retirement from the agency, Leaders embarked on a new adventure and has joined SpaceX. As general manager, Leaders will assume a crucial position at SpaceX's state-of-the-art Starbase facility located in Texas. Her remarkable journey will be under the direct guidance of Gwen Shotwell, president and CEO of SpaceX. This strategic appointment signifies a significant milestone for SpaceX as it strives to ensure the utmost safety and security of its awe-inspiring Starship rocket, future human space exploration. With Leaders' wealth of experience and esteemed reputation in the industry, she brings invaluable knowledge gained during tenure as NASA's human spaceflight official, a role she was assigned to by Jim Bernstein in 2020. Now, this week's launch updates. Coming up on Friday the 19th, we'll hopefully see two launches from SpaceX, a Starlink launch and an Iridium 9 of M1 web. And we'll also see SpaceX launch that XIM-2 mission on Sunday, May 21st. And on Monday, May 22nd, we'll see Rocket Lab launch the third in a series of Tropics missions. Then, just a little bit further ahead, on Wednesday the 24th of May, we'll have another launch from SpaceX, launching Arabsat 7B. Right now, I want you to go like this video and hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for more awesome content right here on Total Space. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.